Welcome back to Cooking with the Buckeye Chef. I'm your host, I Am Prophecy. We got Buckeye Chef off in the back, getting things ready, smelling good in here already. Today we have Taste of the NBA. We have Chicago versus New York. Chicago today we're gonna have a nice deep dish pizza with a special bourbon. And also New York with a New York style hot dog. And of course, a Reuben sandwich. So look who's coming up right now. The Buckeye Chef, baby. NBA week two guys. Hope your teams won their football. Mine won. It's a good weekend. Better bring you some great food today. Gonna have a great of our mini deep dish pizzas. Special bourbon for you guys because in Chicago it is cold and you gotta keep warm. And what better thing than bourbon to keep you nice and warm inside? A little hair on your chest. Good deal. Then we have a Reuben for New York and a special New York hot dog, like I am Prophecy said. So, are you excited? I know I am. So let's get cooking everybody. Today, once again, oven 375. We're gonna get that going hot in the background. And we're gonna start with some pizzas. Start with the little hot dogs and finish up with the Reuben. So in the background, I have my pan right here for water. If you wanna have beer, you can use beer and put the hot dogs in. So I'm gonna get that boiling right now. That's gonna start working. Like so in the back. I'm gonna assemble my pieces for you. You can check it out and see what we got going on. So, get a mixing bowl right here. Have diced tomatoes. You can use can or you can use whole tomatoes. Either one, I have can today. Put it in the bowl like so. And what toppings do we like in pizzas? Pepperoni, gotta have cheese, right? Of course you do. So, right here, put some cheese in here. This is gonna be about four ounces of cheese. But, you know, I like it a little bit cheesier, so I'm gonna throw in just a touch more cheese, like so. And I'm gonna throw in some pepperonis. When you do the pizzas, it's whatever toppings you have at home. Like we always said, you don't have to go out and buy anything. You just play with what you have. I have some extra pepperonis that I'm going to use up. So I'm going to get, I'm going to use these up right here and make it simple and easy. You can leave them whole, but I'm going to just slice them real quick. Like so. Again, just sprinkle them in. That way you get those little pieces of pepperoni throughout your whole pizza yet going on. Put a touch of onion in here. A sprinkle of garlic. And I'm gonna do crushed red pepper. Got like a little bit spicy? Yeah, a little, just a touch. It's like two shakes. If you want more, save it and you can put it on top later. We're gonna mix this all around together. This is the one thing you don't necessarily have to have the tomato sauce for because you have your tomatoes and it has they have a little bit of juice so you can get by without having all that tomato sauce or if you want to you can put some tomato sauce on the side and mix it together but see right there guys boom there's your cheese should we add more cheese prophecy more cheese well we're good on the cheese okay so for many, you just pizzas, get a little muffin pan like so. Whatever you have at home, small, large, or big. I'm gonna have a little bit of spray. Spray them all. And this is a cool little thing here. We're gonna have some tortillas going on, guys. So you take your tortilla and you just put it inside each pouch. Make sure your tortillas are kind of warm. If they're cold, they will tear. So just kind of fold it and put it in. As we go through, you take the toppings and you just put the pizza toppings inside. Do a 
couple right here so you can check it out and see what I mean. Like so, bam. I'm gonna finish off the rest real quick for you. And then you just oven bake this. Probably, I would say around 12 minutes. Tortilla's gonna get a little crisp. The cheese is gonna melt in there. Top is gonna come together. Bam. And there you go, there you have it. Medium dish pizzas. This is also a cool little snack if you have like kids as well too, something to play with. And you can fill these up with different toppings. If you have like a lot of mushrooms, you have um, olives, you want to have, you don't want to use tomatoes, we can use, um, you can use a white sauce, like an Alfredo sauce. That works just as well too. And so that gives you lots of chances to play with everything. And all that spray does is helps everything from sticking so much in the very bottom. I'm just going to keep filling these up. Then we're going to throw these in the oven real quick and they'll be good to go. Damn. Who loves a good pizza? I love pizza. One of my favorite foods, guys. Every chance I get, sometimes I like to try and have pizza in different forms, different ways. And you can make it kind of healthy because you can mix and match it yourself. You can fill it up or change your toppings as much as you want to. You don't have to have the, the basic generic toppings. You can have whatever you like. That's one cool thing about having a pizza. Boom. There we go. Put a little bit of cheese on top of each one. Boom. Nice and simple and easy for you guys. There we go. So our mini deep dish pizzas guys right there in a flour tortilla. We just do some pepperoni, tomatoes, cheese, garlic and onion. We're gonna throw it in the oven about 12 to 15 minutes. It's ready to go, voila. All right. Next also, I'm gonna get these pans working here. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna make some Rubens. Love a good Reuben, right? Anybody know the ingredients of a Reuben sandwich? You have three basic ingredients. I'm gonna give it to you. Basic ingredients though, rye bread. You can have the basic or you can have the marble. You wanna have some sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's lovely. And then also you wanna have corned beef. Simple and easy. So for this Reuben, we're gonna just toast our breads, lay it with some cheese, Thousand Island, let the cheese melt in the oven. We're gonna stuff it with corned beef and our sauerkraut, ready to go. Cut a little butter. Almost like making that like a grilled cheese sandwich that we're gonna kinda do here. Gonna heat the meat and sauerkraut in one pan and have the bread going in the other. That way you have a little bit of both going on. So, we'll get the bread toasted in that pan. We have the sauerkraut working in this pan. The hot dog is in the back. And we're having a good show. Wash my hands real quick, guys. So I can get this stuff tied up. And then I'm going to come back and give you something special. As we're going through, we have our Reuben coming up right now, but while our pans are getting hot, cooking should be fun. So we gotta have a drink. If you've been with the show, you always seen us have a drink. 
whether it's wine or beer, just having something real cool, it's cooking is fun. And being that Chicago, it's cold right now in Chicago. How cold is it? Yesterday, the high was like, I think it was like eight degrees, ridiculously cold. So for my Chicago people, we should have a drink, have a drink today. Glasses right here. Today, we have a special drink right here. Maker's Mark 46, guys. Bam, really, really good. Has a little wax label. Be careful of the wax. It'll go everywhere. I'm gonna invite Prophecy back on. We're gonna have a little drink, a little toast here, real quick. Maker's Mark, it's good stuff, man. Yeah, Maker's 46, a little bit stronger than normal Maker's Mark. Yeah, it's like a 46 step process they do, a little bit different than normal. Yeah, so it's stronger too. Keep you warm so in Chicago, guys. Yeah, I bet. Warm in <laughs> Texas too. Good. That's smooth. It's got a nice little barrel taste too. A little yeah. bit smoky, a little bit oaky. It's good, guys. Check it out, man. I'm gonna get the breast toast in the back. I'm gonna layer them on here. A little tray right here with a melted cheese and Thousand Island actually. And also there in the background, my water is boiling, so I'm gonna get my hot dogs going in the back right now, guys. Okay. So the hot dogs in the water, and I'm gonna wash my hands one more time. We got both these skillets going hot. We'll put a little bit of EVO squared in this other pan, so I get my meat ready to go. As you go through, just give your bread a quick little look. It's gonna toast really good on the back side, nice and brown. As it goes, just give it that look, and as we go through, we're gonna start cooking our corned beef and our sauerkraut. So corned beef here. It's a good little nice deli cut right there. Really good, get that going. Wash my hands one more time. That's going, and I'm gonna add a little bit of sauerkraut to the mix for you guys. There we go. As we go through, just gonna stir your piece of bread off. It's got nice and toast. Finish off in the oven, it'll be good to go. And we have thousand dollar on the Rubens. So I just take a spoon, get some thousand island. One side of the bread right there. And I use a little bit of Swiss cheese. Bam. Good Reuben. Pretty good to come by. Hard to find and get Reuben. Are you a fan of Reuben's prophecy? Now, you know, sometimes they're okay. Um, Sauerkraut is not really my thing, but everything's worth a try. Yeah. Never know what you might like. So, there we go. We'll give that other side a toast to.
Some cheese and we're almost set to go. Get this corned beef to flip. Just heating that right there, getting a nice color, a little brown, getting that go of flavors caramelizing together. Really good. Bam, goes really quick. Ready to go. We're gonna have a good time eating today, tasting NBA. I also want to take some time out to talk about our restaurant of the week. We have a special barbecue place. Jumbo's Barbecue. Jumbo. Also Swahili for hello. So in case you ask, that's what else too. No, they're not Swahili. Or Kenyan if they speak it when they speak Swahili. But the barbecue is really good. They have awesome array of sandwiches and great delights out there. If anybody wants to check it out. If you're in Arlington, Texas, right there off of 20 and Little Road. If you have out there in Burleson, it's off of 35. All right, right on the FM Road, really close to the freeway. They have a great selection of sandwiches. They have this one that has, has brisket, uh, pork ribs, Fried bologna and um, another type of barbecue meat. It's like a huge sandwich. Go to the website, type in like Jumbo's Barbecue. You'll see it, a huge sandwich, ginormous. But it's one of their best creations ever. Really great reviews, great place. They are closed on Sunday and Mondays and open from 11 to eight. So be sure if you work, stop by there and get your barbecue fixed because it is phenomenal, it is great. You're doing great things. New place happening in DFW. Like another food method is evolving right here in DFW. We don't have to go out to the East Coast or West Coast for some great. We're getting it right here. So can't complain. Hot dogs are almost ready. That cheese won't take long to melt at all. Now we're going to assemble all these sandwiches and get everything ready to go right now. So, get a hot dog bun, like so. Get everything assembled right quick. So you can check it out. I want to thank you for just for watching our show as we go through here. Pretty soon we are switching back to Sunday nights next month. After the Super Bowl, we're gonna have amazing guests lined up, amazing foods, and you're gonna see so many great recipes and follow the show we're on man prophecy knows all the social media sites we have facebook we have oh we have twitter we have we have ustream we have youtube oh my god there's so many to count i can't keep track i mean instagram Oh my gosh, I can't, I, can't, I can't even know all the social media sites. Periscope, I mean, there's so many things you can go follow us on. Cooking with the Buckeye Chef, email, I mean, email too as well, guys. Recipes galore, everything coming on. Oh, Snapchat, I forgot Snapchat too, guys. Everywhere, Buckeye Chef is going up everywhere, guys. So you want, you want to know where we go? Facebook, follow the show, Cooking with the Buckeye Chef. You're watching live right now on Ustream, hit that follow button. Follow us there. You want to get on Twitter, at the Buckeye Chef and at Iron Prophecy. Give you updates on the show. Also some cool things about shopping and, and food pictures and techniques that go along there as well too. And then on Instagram, what is that? You got it, cooking with the Buckeye Chef. You got me. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's start assembling everything right now. So, a New York dog is really simple and easy. All it is, mustard, a 
And sauerkraut. They love sauerkraut in New York. So just take some of that. Like so. Basic, simple, New York dog. Yes, you may want to put some ketchup on there and stuff like that. But this is a basic, simple New York dog right there, guys. Let's check out that Rubens. There we go. Boom. There we go. Just take your meat, guys. Right there. Throw that sauerkraut. Right there. Fold over that top half, like so. Boom. This one I'm gonna quarter it because we're gonna have some a lot of taste coming on here on this one. So bam. Check it out guys. Look at that Reuben. Wow. Looks good, huh? Let me cut out my other one. And all these dishes, guys, are real quick, simple and easy. Don't require a lot of work. As you can see, everything was really simple. Yeah. And then, what are we missing next? Pizza, forgot. It's ready to go. Get ready and pull that out. This tray is really hot guys, so gotta be careful. But hey, aloha Hawaii. This is our mini deep dish pizzas right there, guys. Really nice and simple. Then you just take it and pull it out. Like so. Easy. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of crushed red pepper. Cleveland, what's going on? Ohio. Love it, 614-216. We're gonna win the title this year, right? Yes, we are. But these are our cool dishes. Main deep dish pizzas right there, guys. Simple and easy ingredients. Real quick, throw it in the oven, forget about it, come back, it's ready to go. We have that New York dog. A little mustard and sauerkraut, really simple and easy. If you don't want, you can add some little ketchup to that if you want to. Easy, breezy, good. Not so. Delicious Reuben, guys. Bam. So, we are going to taste a few things, like always. And if you were here, taste with us. And also, we have the Makers 46. Really, really good. Really good drink to go with all this. So, until a prophecy come back on here, we're going to taste a few things and a little Q&A session we have going on into the show. Answer any questions you have, anything you'd like to see. And um, you want to be a guest on, on the studio? You want to come out and be a live taster? Come on out. We welcome you. Just from my plate to yours, 
about to tear this up right now. Perfect song, perfect food, perfect drink. So we're gonna try first. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Those, <coughs> that bourbon got me. I'm warm already. Pizza. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here. We'll have. So you give a little, you give a little taste. Kind of see. Mhm. Mm it's good. That's really simple. So things like this we like to make and just have a good time with everything. And that was any toppings you want to do. That's pepperoni, but you can use like you can make it all vegetable if you want to. It's pretty light. It's pretty fresh, man. Yeah, it's good. Next, we have a we have sauerkraut. And Damien and I are huge fans of sauerkraut, but we're gonna we're gonna try to. No, no, he's he's just saying no. He he loves sauerkraut. He yeah. loves it. He was telling me before the show. He's like Brandon, <laughs> can you put sauerkraut on the menu for the show? And I was like, like, can you uh, throw that out of my house <laughs> and out before you get wherever you're trying to get to? I was like, dude, I will put as much sauerkraut as you want. And he's like, everything. I'm like, I don't put sauerkraut on pizza, but it's okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> but hey, you got to try everything. Like I said, once, but this will be twice. The first time, no. But hey, so, you got to try it again. Take one bite. Just see a small bite, guys. Oh, it's, it's, if you're going to take, you might as well just take a bite, right? Mmm. It's like a thought. It's good, actually. But, me and sauerkraut stood on a, no. work out. But And a food hint good. for this, for sauerkraut. If you want to dilute the taste of it, cook it in beer. Mm. So you have a favorite beer at home, you have a Shiner, you have Newcastle, whatever you like. Newcastle is always good. Put it in the beer, it'll take out that taste and suck in some of that beer, and then put on your dog. Okay. Hmm. You know, just always, uh, sauerkraut's always had a little bit there, too much of that, that tarty tang. Hmm. Uh, but we still have I don't know. one more sauerkraut dish to go. Oh, I know. Okay. That's why I've been staring at it. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Room is next. That's pretty good too. It's light. Mm -hmm. Now, that bread, is there a specific place you can buy that? Just a, a bakery is the best place or a supermarket? Or the bread is fantastic, you know. Well, you can go to mm. any bakery or any supermarket and get your rye bread. If you go to a specialty store, we have like an HEB Central Market here. You can almost buy bread by a few pieces. You don't have to buy a whole loaf. So you can save money that way. It's pretty good. So it's good to know. And if you are if your friends at your local grocery store bakery, you can get it by the few pieces. You don't have to buy a whole loaf of it. And then you have this rye. You're like, man, what do I do with it now? Make friends with the bakery. They are important people. Yeah. They're there early. They will take care of you. Might give you a little extra maybe. Maybe give you a little discount. And, you yeah. Know, they'll give you some tips on what's fresh, what's not. Exactly. What bread goes with what. Eh, you know, let, so. They'll let you know what they made that day. Or you know what they're coming out with, so it's really good to have fun with the bakery. Like my bakery person, I like you know gotta get some cookies or get muffins sometime. Yeah. And a yeah, baker's dozen too, huh? is thirteen. Yeah. Sometimes I get fourteen. Shh. Now fourteen not, extra ones or just no fourteen total. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm but not gonna man. get I'm not gonna get them in trouble or tell you where I shop, but fourteen. Mm. <laughs> That's called the hookup dozen, not the baker's dozen. Right. <laughs> Guys, it's been a great show, man. It's been New York versus Chicago. Give us your shout outs to see what we have going next week to compete because if not, we're going to pick some of the toughest teams or if not a team that is going to be playing next week. So um, give us a little Q&A. We're going to do a little music, put some of the food off to the side for the next people that are going to be doing some tastings and uh, we'll be here waiting for you, okay? Yeah, so chime in. Let me know what you like, who you want to see next week. So, so far, 
The first we get for you, and then watch Dallas and Cleveland today with Chicago at New York. Next week, there's still a lot of NBA teams to go. We have two weeks left, so who do you want to see? Go. First teams to get announced, we're going to pick next week, and we'll announce it right here live on the show. And ask those questions too, guys. We'll be right here. All right, a couple of things we saw real quick. Person had a good suggestion. You can freeze your loaf and save it for next time, which is true. Your bread will freeze really well in the freezer, and you can make different things. You can make like a type of put like a bread pudding with the rye bread, a different healthier bread pudding. And also, a person asked, "What can I do to make my hot dog taste better at home?" Well, a few things you can do. A couple things. You can uh, braise it and a beer. Give it a really good flavor and beer, whatever beer you like. Usually a flavor that ha a beer that has more flavor. A darker beer, you have a Negro Mandela, a foreign beer, Stella, um, you have their Japanese beer, Sapporo, you have Blue Moon, different beers give it different flavors, different uh, profiles when you eat it. That's really good. Also a broth, like a beef stock, a beef base that will pack it with flavor really good and you can add a little bit of chipotle in there and that hot dog will soak up that flavor when you're braising in it and it'll be amazing so two things that up your hot dog game really good and also if you want to check out any different types of mustards or ketchups it's really big right now in the market you have spices you have different flavor profiles on the mustards you can use different ketchups also as well too with the uh, Heinz has um, sriracha ketchup, jalapeno ketchup, balsamic vinegar ketchup, different things to get different taste profiles, but the hot dog itself, braise it in different liquids, you're good to go. So we're going to get ready. I have a couple more questions for you. Be right back. All right, we have our two winners. Next week's show, the top two teams in the NBA right now. Anybody know where Steph Curry plays? Golden State, you got it. Out there in California. And then here in Texas, down 35, just a few hours away, we have the San Antonio Spurs. The ageless team that always seems to triumph in the end. Those two next week, we'll see you Tuesday at 1 p.m. From my plate to yours, cheers, guys. <laughs>